It's Question Friday, and a few of you were nice enough to ask me some off-the-wall questions. So, here we go. Uh, Bubble World Comics wants to know... Let me look at it, actually. I have it in text message form. What actor made you think as a kid that you could do that as a grown-up? And what is your favorite BubbleWorldComics.com character? Uh, this might be surprising to some, might be not so surprising to others. I would say that as a kid, the actor that influenced me to feel like I could act would be Jim Carrey. Definitely watched more in Living Color than I probably should have at a young age. <laughs> um, the Bubble World Comics dot com. I think the Swamp Dragons. I'm not sure the character's name, but the main swamp dragon character guy that walks around smoking a cigar most of the time might be my favorite character at this point. I don't know. I haven't been reading for that long, so kinda not sure overall. Alright, moving on. Um, my friend Jim my friend Jim wants to know how someone can decide what facial hair is right for them. Now, first, as somebody who has had a ridiculous beard and many other transitions in between, I say do whatever you like. But um, the guys at the Beard Blog have some interesting perspectives on that. There's also... Let me see. Um, There's also blogs.beards.org, interesting source. I actually read some of their articles back sophomore year of college whenever I was first striking out on my adventure to be a, a man of the beard and facial hair. Um, let's just say the power of beard is not with everyone. So their advice is before you say, oh, I, I want to have a goatee, oh, I want to have, you know, mutton chop sideburns or whatever to give yourself a week two weeks of just free growth and then from there whatever comes in the best pretty much you know you gotta accept what you have if you can grow a mustache and you can grow a nice five o'clock shadow but you don't have any sideburns to connect anything then you gotta do one of two things you gotta wait and trim everything short to where it all grows out at the same time, or you've gotta accept your mustache and keep everything clean shaven. Um, past that, I know that uh, over time, apparently Rogaine can help if you put it in certain parts of your face. Uh, I used it somewhat in the cheek region to kind of connect things. It Honestly, I don't really feel like overall it did much. Time did more. <laughs> But, I don't know, that's my advice as far as beards go. And, um, yeah, people are going to tell you that it doesn't look good, and other people will turn right around five minutes later and tell you it's awesome. So, you've just got to like yourself as far as the beard goes and embrace it. What does your pillowcase look like? So, yeah. Let me go grab mine. Uh, here we go. This is my most recent pillowcase. I will be honest, this pattern was actually a full bed set pattern, and um, it was in the girls' section at Walmart, though it's green, orange, blue, and brown. 
Uh, apparently, uh, guys aren't allowed to like stripes that are green, orange, blue, and brown. Okay, so yeah, comment, subscribe, do reply videos. Keep watching. You have a good one.